It was a cold winter's morning on the island of Sodor. The wind was blowing fiercely. The ground hard was frost. Thomas and Percy were cross. All I want is a warm boiler. Firelighter knows that. He's late. He's not w late, said Percy. This weather woke us up early. Gusts of wind swirled round the shed, tossing flakes of snow around Thomas. Then they swooshed around Percy, too. Why can't, don't we just talk about something else? shivered Percy. Yes, replied Yes, replied Thomas, like how silly I look when our funnels turn into icicles. That's not funny, said Percy. Maybe we can stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things like sunshine and steam and firelighters, added Thomas. Scards, continued Percy. Scards, laughed Thomas. That's what you need, Percy, a woolly scarf right wrapped around your funnel. Thomas was only teething, but they... Talked happily about scarves until a firelighter came. Sir so Tom Hat was enjoying some hot porridge for breakfast. He was looking forward to taking some visitors on a tour of the railway in his precious trousers. In a truck. I shall put them in my trunk, said the drop, the pot, said the top and hat, and change into them just as the photographs are taken. I shall put them in my trunk, said Sir Top and hat, hat to his wife, and change into them just as the photographs are taken. And, and then he Set off to catch his train. Percy was now working hard. His fire was burning nicely and he had plenty of steam, but he was still thinking about scars. He saw them everywhere he went. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold, he puffed. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. <clears throat> and as the proper funnels do, said Percy, you only got a small one. Before Henry can answer, Percy puffed away. Henry snorted, but he was still looking forward to taking the visitors on a special tour of the railway.
it was time for the photographs. Everyone was excited. Sir Tom Hat waited on the platform for his trousers. They were in a trunk amongst a big load of baggage. The porters were taking the baggage trolley across the line. They were walking backwards to see if nothing had fell off. Percy was still being cheeky. The driver always shut off steam just outside the station. Percy wanted to to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. But the porters didn't hear him er either. But Percy had gave them such a fright and boxes and bags burst everywhere. Grown Percy. Sticky stream of jam trickled down Percy's face. A top hat hung on his lap iron. Worst of all, a pair of trousers coiled lovingly around this funnel. Everyone was very angry. Sir Top Hat had seized the top hat. Mine, he said. Percy, look at this. Yes, sir. I am, sir. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We, we must now pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes. And my trousers are ruined. I hope this uh, teaches you not to play tricks with the coaches. Percy hopped away. On the way, he met James. Hello, Percy, said James. So you found a scarf, eh? But legs go in trousers, not funnels. And he popped away to tell Henry the news.
that night. Tom Percy was told Thomas and all of the news. Percy's driver had taken away the trousers and gave Percy a good wash down. Firelighters promised to come early tomorrow, said Thomas. Henry had returned from taking the visitors across the island. Across the tour, from the tour, and then, and now felt sorry for Percy too. Driver says that the weather is going to be w warmer tomorrow. You won't need a scarf, Percy. Certainly not, replied Percy, because engines don't need sc wear scarves. Engine needs warm. Spoilers, everyone knows that.